Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Fallett and I am an art therapist. For today, I wanted to talk to those of you who are interested in doing virtual art therapy, but are unsure what materials to work with or to have in your home when it's time for your art therapy session. So I thought I'd break it down for you today and focus on drawing materials that I use myself and recommend to others. So it's very important when you're creating art to have materials that support you. That means that sometimes we might uh, put so much pressure on ourselves to create art that looks a certain way and often we're not giving ourselves the materials to help us do the things we're looking for. So I think it's very important to have quality materials. So first up, for colored pencils, uh, there's a variety that you can choose from in terms of the best quality that you're able to layer and blend. I highly recommend Prismacolor. I'll open up a set here that I have. These are obviously very used, so these are more earthy tones. Um, they come in hundreds of colors. You can purchase them individually or in these pan sets, uh, but they're the best out there. Um, and I recommend getting a good sharpener to go with it. Next up are the oil pastels. So different varieties, different sets. I always recommend the Craypaws Expressionist set. They come in a smaller box. You can get a larger 24 pack or 48. Um, these are nice, they're not as expensive and um, you, they're a step up from crayons. So they blend very nicely. You can also use them with watercolors for a wax resist effect. Water soluble oil pastels. I use portfolio series. I love these. They blend with your finger. They go on soft and creamy. Uh, so I have the set of 24 and highly recommend. For chalk pastels, I'll show you here. I have a Soho set um, of 48. And I love these because as you can see, you get a variety of colors. They're almost like working with paints. Uh, when you put them on the paper, they blend really nicely, a little bit messy, but I, I recommend having a set for yourself at home. Uh, they really uh, are fun to play around with and to just layer and color blend. So highly recommend uh, chalk pastel. And as far as markers go, I'll show you here. I think it depends on what you're looking for. You can work with a Crayola set if you like. These are by Arteza. They're not uh, too expensive. And these are thin tipped markers. So I'll show you. They come in a variety of colors and you can add details. And I recommend getting a medium or wider tip marker as well uh, to play around with. Last but not least, my favorite, Microns. I love using these with watercolors or standalone to create textures. So these are your fine tip, fine line markers, and they come in different sizes. The thinnest tip, the 005 that I have, highly recommend. You can get also um, a 03, 05, 08 for wider lines. So those are the drawing materials that I recommend having in your home. Some of them are uh, more expensive, some are less, depending on the brand that you get. But I do re recommend a variety of these materials to start off with and play around. Okay, so good luck in choosing your materials and feel free to ask any questions if you have them.